Good evening. The state television company of Western Armenia represents the most important events of these days. The day is broadcast. Armenians celebrate victory in Shoshi Arman Yeranosyan. Interview with the newly elected deputy of the Republic of Western Armenia National Assembly, Guillermo Karamanyan. Enemy attacks in Artsakh have failed in a number of directions. Is Iran going to cross the Iraq's new geography? The human rights defender presented facts to Caroline Cox. Azerbaijan's goal is to do away with the ethnic Armenians in the Artsakh. We are not Armenians. Armenians of 1915 we will make you pay for everything. Armenian-American Hollywood actor Mark Cohen. 1,500-year-old human skeleton found in the ruins of ancient city of Perez Amosad. The head of Planet Travel Club travel company Armen Yeranosyan wrote on his Facebook page The Turks do not think. The Armenian army is celebrating victory in Shushi, an astonishing victory over the Turkish elite troops. Tomorrow and the next day the world media will report on the ingenuity of the Armenian military strategic thought. I noticed very surprising thing following the analysis of the official media. I noticed how poor the strategic thinking of the Turkish army is, and I was convinced that they were only well armed. Those who are familiar with the operation to liberate Chushi in 1992 know very well the military plan used by General Rozoglian and Ter Tadevosyan. The Turks literally repeat the military strategic plan of commandos. Even the directions of the attack are the same on the map. They fight against the Armenians with the strategy of the Armenians, forgetting that the invasion of the military ingenuity called trap for the protection of the fortifications are also the Armenians. The result of the trap is the 500 Turkish special forces killed today. Using the ancient trap, the Armenians smashed the Turks and deprived them of the elite troops. Glory to our generals, to Armenian officers and the powerful army. So she won today and tomorrow the pieces of the destroyed Turkish army will be completely destroyed and the army will launch a rapid attack. Western Armenia TV conducted an interview with the newly elected deputy of the Republic of Western Armenia National Assembly, Guillermo Karamanyan. In the interview, Mr. Karamanyan detailed what activities he was engaged in before being elected deputy of the parliament, after which he noted in which spheres of the parliament he would operate. In particular, he stressed that the main work should be done to resolve the issue of Turkish-occupied territories in the Republic of Western Armenia. Mr. Karamanyan has the goal of having a powerful state and wants to have his contribution to this issue. The interview is available on our official website and YouTube channel. In addition to Shushi city, battles in other directions of Artsakh are also important. Arturun Hovanisyan, a representative of the Ministry of Defense of Armenia, on Monday afternoon wrote this on his Facebook page. Attempts by Azerbaijan armed forces to attack have failed in the directions of Marduni, Martagert, Tagavart, and other places. The battles of all sectors are extremely important, Hovanisyan added. Iran is strengthening its military presence on its northern border, continuing to accumulate large number of people and various weapons. All this suggests that Iran, if necessary, is going to solve not only defense but also offensive problems crossing the Iraqs. The commander of the Iran's ground forces, General Haydari, said yesterday that the Islamic State would not tolerate changes in the regional geopolitical boundaries. What does this mean? What is, according to Iran, intolerable? Iran has expressed concern about terrorists, which of course change geopolitics in the region rather than than just a war against Artsakh. There is no doubt that this shift has its place in the Turkish strategy of terrorism in the Caucasus. The whole question is when Ankara will give that order. The buildup of offensive forces on Iran's northern border indicates that Tehran considers the threat possible. It is noteworthy that Tehran is deploying large amounts of weapons and offensive potential on the northern border not during the fires fighting there, but after the Turkish terrorist forces have made considerable progress. It is also noteworthy that Tehran launched its strike force in parallel with the introduction Using its diplomatic initiative to regional players. The human rights defender of Armenia, Armand Tatoyan, on Monday received a delegation led by Baroness of the UK, Caroline Cox, the Ombudsman Office reported. Tatoyan presented the war crimes and the crimes against humanity which Azerbaijan armed forces are committing against the civilians of Armenia and Artsakh. The Ombudsman concluded that Azerbaijan's goal is to do away with the ethnic Armenians in Artsakh and with the help of terrorist methods, war crimes and crimes against humanity. Also, the delegation was presented concrete evidence of the respective atrocities is being committed by the Azerbaijani side. Baroness Cox, for her part, expressed a wish to visit Artsakh if possible, to record the real situation on the ground. 
The Human Rights Defender of Armenia in turn expressed readiness to personally accompany this delegation in case of permission given to visit Artsakh. Hollywood actor of Armenian origin Mark Wakhan made another post in his Facebook page in support of Armenians. The Armenian actor is more than confident that today the Armenians are stronger and better prepared. We are no longer Armenians of 1915, we are the generation of survivors of genocide, more educated, more armed. We will not surrender without fight, we will take more from them. Earlier, the actor called on his followers to condemn the Azerbaijani-Turkish provocations by telling the truth. The Armenian struggle for survival it is important for several reasons. The Armenian civilization is one of the oldest civilizations in the world. It was the first nation to adopt Christianity. There are churches in Armenia with a long history. But today, these barbarians want to cleanse this history and culture with their money, trying to create their own false version of history. Please help Armenia at least by spreading the truth, any support is important for us," he wrote. A 1,500-year-old skeleton belonging to a man has been found during excavations in the town of Pere in Samosat Adiyaman, area of one of the five major cities in the Kingdom of Komagene in western Armenia. A grave was found next to the 160-meter-long staircase found during excavations. Now let us represent your attention a song Sasnotara. You can find the whole version of the song in the official page of Western Armenia TV. This was all for today. Goodbye.